You guys already know who it is, see that opponent score fitness, King of Physique. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little video of my day-to-day -day diet and supplement intake as far as what I have for my supplements. Um, you guys ask these questions all the time, so I'm just gonna give you a little breakdown as far as what I have during bowl season, cutting season, and uh, what the splits look like as well. I'm gonna show you basically the day one picture, the year one picture, my year two picture of my transformation, so you guys can also know what it took, my cutting and bulking from each year um, as well. So you guys kinda see, you know, what what these foods and supplements have done to, you know, help my physique overall. So before I get right into what I'm eating here, I take protein, sometimes creatine. But I'm gonna just be completely honest. You know, like protein's dope. I take that mostly during bulking season because I wanted to have those extra calories. And then creatine itself, it's debatable. I forget to take it, so I'm not really consistent with it. You don't need those things in your diet as far as like the protein powders and the creatine. You can still see your gains without it. I've done it, I went a whole year without uh, using protein and creatine. So my diet right here has brown rice, sweet peppers, broccoli and spinach. That is like my typical day, everyday lunch, dinner, little meal right there. I always have those, you know, veggies and that, you know, my brown rice every day. And then the protein will switch. You know, I'll have steak like right now, or I'll have lean ground beef, chicken breasts. I'll kind of play with those around depending on the day. And on my two days, I'll go to Chipotle. Chipotle is basically the same thing, brown rice, pinto beans. You got the veggies and then, you know, the protein of your choice. Now, let's get right into what you guys have been waiting for, the supplements. Yep, so I'm gonna explain like exactly what I take the minute I wake up at 3 a.m. all the way to before I go to bed. I start off with flaxseed oil and fish oil, one of my favorites. It's gonna explain why I take fish oil and all the other supplements at the bottom. So I'm gonna get right through this. Flaxseed oil, I'm gonna go ahead and take two of these every morning. This is on an empty stomach, like right when I wake up. Now I'm gonna have my B complex, which is right here. I'm gonna have two of these, and I'm gonna have one multivitamins right after I finish eating you know, my food. And before my workouts, I usually have like one pack of Quaker oatmeal, or you can literally have a protein bar protein shake like before your workouts I personally just have you know oatmeal because that has worked for me again do what works for you that's the only way you're gonna see your progress is by you figuring out what works best for your physique your genetics after that little work oh my bad after the little workout and everything get that you know grind in I rush home because the key is to eat within 30 minutes after your session whether it is a protein shake or a meal you want to have it within 30 minutes I live about 12 minutes from the gym, so I don't have a lot of time. So I make sure I get home and I get right to cooking. I usually have like eggs or turkey bacon and or with turkey bacon, toss some spinach in there. And that'll be like my breakfast for after the gym. So my post meal and I will have two testosterone uh, boosters as well to help, you know, with my testosterone too. You know, being 22 years old, my testosterone levels are really high, but just having a little boost will also help with the gains. Next thing, we got the lunch meal prep. So basically for my lunch, like I said, lean ground beef, chicken breast, that's all I have ran down. And then I'll have my brown rice, my veggies, my, you know, same thing, literally same thing right here. But um, for the most part, I do check how many calories to be intaking during cutting and bulking season. That's the main important thing is to count your calories. I would say if you're a starter, go online, find a caloric calculator, type that stuff in, figure out what your intake should be, and whether you're in a surplus or, or deficit for your goals. The next thing after lunch, settle, chill throughout the day. I don't have any snacks, I just have these straight meals. And then um, I'll go to dinner towards the end around 7, 8 p.m. and I'll have my meal plan again. And then I'll have three milk thistle seeds. These are really, really important for liver and just cleansing your body overall. When you're taking all these supplements, they go to your liver, so you wanna make sure that you're cleansing it out. Lastly, since I'm up really late, 
I say about till 10, 11, I don't get the proper sleep. That's just because being a business owner, you literally are up 18, 20 hours throughout the day. Most of the time it's 16 hours and you don't, so you don't get a lot of sleep. And that's just the sacrifice that comes with, you know, owning a business and everything. But um, for the most part, after dinner, right before I go to bed, I'll have four scoops of protein along with, you know, almond milk and egg whites, and then I'll call it a night. So that's usually like my breakdown. And if you're cutting and you're just hitting cutting mode and you decide to take um, fat burners, just let you know, it's just high in caffeine. So it's gonna boost up your numbers too. So just be careful with that because you don't wanna go through a cutting season too fast and lose your muscle because then now you're gonna have to kind of restart all over again. Lipo 6 Black. You only need to take one of these a day. And uh, that's the my go-to fat burner. I still have it from when I first started uh, cutting season. As far as splits, I work out about six days a week, eight times a week. So Mondays and Thursdays are going to be twice a day. That's why I can focus on cardio as well. Cause yeah, I do about an hour cardio when I'm cutting. And then with bulking, it's four days a week. So you wanna have enough rest days for bulking because you're gonna be lifting really heavy and pushing yourself. And you need to make sure that you're maintaining all those calories that you're intaking and not losing them in the gym by working out six days a week you know etc etc if you guys need any advice don't be afraid to hit me up on instagram you guys know who it is see that underscore fitness king of physique and we out of here